Bisem Prefect, many of the work Karl the work for Shovelvat v. Aeronautica. Hello again, everyone. Karl here, back with Aeronautica here on Leo Vest International. Look at this large airport here. At least two terminals. Little vegetation, but enough to sustain surrounding area. Populous city. Flat coastline. Does this resemble any eastern city? Russian. So I was able to fly another aircraft to Leovet after that crash in the previous video. So let's take a look around the International Airport. And yes, I have enabled the static aircraft just for the purpose of this video. So basically there are three parallel runways, 725, and this one with a long taxiway, 725 right, I mean 7 left, 25 right. There's a helipad. And for seaplanes, they should likely spawn over here. And there's some submarines. I guess they will be the ones on the ship's update. Terminal for small planes. The maintenance hangars. As well as for cargo aircraft. Can we take a look at the urban landscape? What does this monument remind you of? Does this look like the Kremlin? I don't know, the Kremlin has walls. Anyways, let us check the dealership to see what aircraft they're sold. All right, let's put this out of the way. So we'll start off first with the Antonov. This Antonov over here, the Antonov An Disyat, the AN-10, and we know it's been moved from Fiskar Island Airport, which is natural because that was the only airport with these kinds of aircraft at that time, before the new version. And it's basically the same model Titanium has done over time. Same color scheme.
and the Antonov Andwa Natsit. The AN-12. It's just the military version of the un this yet. And we have here a new multi engine, the Ilyushin Il Store Chetum Natsit Store, the IL 114 100. What a beauty! I guess this is a regional airliner because of its short range. Like the NAMC YS Ichi Ichi, perhaps? So let's see what the color scheme looks like. So, this is the white, so, aircraft white is essential for this. And for color two, we can make it an orange. And the lighter shade of orange for this one. Yeah, typical of Warriors style of coloring. Does this resemble any airline livery? And there's also a convertible version of the Il Stochet of Natsit. Let's see, what was that? So, let's see... Here it is, this is this... Ilyushin Il Stochet of Natsit Te. I guess the library is almost the same. Now let's proceed with the jet aircraft. So we'll start first with the Tupolev of two store Piatisiat Chatera M Trijet. And does this have doors? Oh yes, only the right side has doors. The, only the left side has doors. I wonder why the right side doesn't have any. Oh, maybe it's the typical warrior not putting them for visual reasons. But anyways, let's check what the color scheme is. Let's let's try blue. Yes, yes this is typical of warrior style of coloring. There we go. And um, let's let's do the usual aircraft white.
And here's a Blu-ray aircraft. The Antonov An Stodwatsa Chotiri. And it should be grey on the bottom. So um, let's let's make this like that. There we go. It's a high capacity plane. Well, according to some players, this is the Mini Stored Vesti Dwadsat Piat Mria. Well, this is actually the. This is where the 225 comes from, because it's. It's basically it's. Uh, yes, the 124 is based on. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, the the two twenty five is based on the one twenty four. So let's look at another look around of the Antonov An Stodwasa Chotiri, the AN one twenty four. The car scheme seems incomplete. Isn't it so? There should be more colors at the nose. Yeah, there should be something here. It must be more detailed. But anyways, it's a great design. It's based on one of those... Isn't the library from the Nepper Airways? And... We all know what the Ilyushin Il Shestesiat Dwa, the IL-62, and this has been remodeled by Altac with all its doors and stuff. The windows have become more rounder, and let's change the uh, color to, to some shade of orange. Looks like inner fluke. Then our next aircraft, the Ilishin Il Busundesia Chest, and it's the same one as it were from Fiskar. Same design, same color scheme, same old Il Busundesia Chest, IL 86. Next one, the Ilishin Il Devianosto Shest Trista. And Warrior has still yet to remodel this plane to current standards. So let's stay tuned for the remodel of this plane. The next one.
Sorry about that, someone passed into the room. So, here is the Tupel of Two store, Dwatsat Shetira. And it's basically the the jet version of the Stork Shetir Natset and the Soviet version of the de Havilland Comet. Doesn't the official arts look like the Stork Shetir Natset? And typical of warrior, only the left side has doors. Wait, hmm, maybe the maybe the doors fail to render correctly on the right, perhaps. And we all know what the tuple of two Dwatsa Dwa M Dwa is, because it's it's the other one that is moved from Fiskar. So let's make everything in the gray color scheme. So let's And the last jet aircraft on the list, the Yokosuka R2Y2 Keun Kai, which is actually, which is basically the jet version of the Yokosuka R2Y1, R2Y1. Yes, it's it's the one at Kitesboro. the unproduced jet variant and let's make the color scheme of the Imperial Japanese Navy it should be around a shade of green I think this is the approximate one Aircraft white for color two. Let's add some reflection. Doesn't this look like the IJ in color scheme? Yeah, it should be lighter, so it's. Let's try 116. 66. There, that looks better now. Yes, this plane was supposed to be done by the end of the war. when that happened. And the supersonic transports are the same as they were 
when they're sold at Fiskar Island Airport. So we all know what the Tuklok to Stosoro Ksatria did. Looks like so, looks so. Let's put the, uh, the usual colors of uh, Aeroflot. Well, this should be white for the fuselage and wings. So let's make the aircraft white. And color to some shade of Soviet red. So the the tuple of two Stosorok Chetirede is the the later version of the T 144 for pronunciation there. The later variant without the afterburners, which there is on the tuple of two Stosorok Chetire S. T one forty four S. And the tuple of two Divesti Sorokshetira. The unproduced aircraft. And this one doesn't have the drooping nose. For those new to this game. And the tuple of two Ketiresta Sorok Ketire, the TU444. It's just a mini tuple of two Sto Sorok Ketire S. And there you have it. That's all of the aircraft sold at Leovets International Airport. I'll see you everyone on the next video. Dosyo Daniel.